right past her, amigo. I'm hungry. You know, you're always hungry. You're not thinking about food, you're thinking about girls. Why not? When I'm with girls, I have so much fun. But you, Brad, you never have time for fun anymore. You're always thinking about the business. Since I bought this stage line, I get my fun out of the business. You know, Cheeto, getting people from one place to another is important. It's a responsibility. A responsive? What is that? Well, it's, it's sort of like being married to an idea. I'd rather be married to a girl. Hey, what's that? Hey, Missy, hold up. Wait a minute. That's a girl. What's a girl doing out here 50 miles from nowhere? Got me. Maybe she's a decoy. Oh, she's too pretty. Oh, oh son. Ah, settle down, honey. Oh. Hold on to these, Cheeto. Hello there. Where'd you come from? What are you doing in the middle of the desert? Never mind about that. Take me aboard. Miss, I just and can't. And get into the nearest railroad. Now, look here, miss. I just can't. I'll pay you. Only, you've got to get me out of oh, here. Oh, never mind. Wait until we get the relay station. It's only down the road a couple of miles. Horses here. How long will that take? Oh, about ten minutes. That long? Snap it up, boys. The nearest train's in Wicksburg. How much is the fare? Eight dollars. Are you sure that you don't need this money, Miss? Uh... No, I have plenty of money. Oh, wait a minute. You forgot your change. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do for you? Nothing. Oh, wait a minute, miss. You forgot your ticket. You'll have a new driver from here on in. Thanks. Goodbye, miss. Hi, Andy. Hi, Tito. Hi, Brad. Hi. Say, I've got news for you two. Susie and I are going to be married. Why, Andy, that's swell. When are you going to pass out the cigars? Tito, you don't pass out cigars when you get married. Well, that comes later, maybe. Oh, see, now I remember. My father, he passed out the cigars when the Padre christened me Chito Jose Gonzalez Bustamante <laughs> Rafferty. Every once in a while, the Irish in him creeps out. When's the wedding going to be, Andy? Sunday. I figured the sooner the better. The old folks want it here at the ranch, so if it's all right with you, I'm bringing Susie back with me from Wicksburg on this trip. Why, sure. You know that employees' wives always travel free. You got a swell deal, Andy. Congratulations. Yeah, me too, also. You two boys are my best friends, and I was just wondering if you and Cheeto would stand up for me. See, si. You bet. Now that you two know all about it, go on and hightail it. My ma's keeping the grub hot for you. There's Matt's pie. Miss Pie, adios. I saddled up for you. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. So long.
night, she, she turned her horse loose here. There's her heel marks. Yeah, and wagon tracks. She must have boarded the stage. Come on, men. First hole up I ever had. Don't try to talk, kid. They took the Wells Fargo box. And they took that girl, the new passenger. Susie will wonder why I don't meet her in Winksburg. Send her word, will you, Brad? Tell her I'll meet her later. What happened, Ed? A gang swooped down on us. What'd they look like? Did you recognize any of them? No. They all wore black masks, all except the one that shot Andy. He seemed to be the leader. He wore a gray spotted bandana. You better get over to Doc Stafford and have him take a look at this arm. And bring the doc back over here. Sure, Brad. Bob. Yeah? Take Andy at the station, then you and I will get the passengers to Wicksburg. What are you going to do, amigo? We're going to get help. men told me that they all wore black masks, except this one man who seemed to be the leader. He had a gray spotted bandana on. A gray spotted bandana? That sounds like the Tonto Rim Gang. Tonto Rim Gang? Yeah. Well, as long as you know who they are, you'll handle it. Well, wait a minute. It's not as simple as all that. We know the name of the gang, how they operate, and where they've struck, but we still don't know who their leader is or the location of their hideout. They raid, then run. They vanish somewhere in here with their loot. There are a hundred canyons in this country that could hide a small army. We believe their hideout is somewhere in here, under the Tonto Rim. Anyhow, we never catch up with them. Then we are, like you say, uh, up the trees. Well, we have one clue. 
We've got one of their men, a fellow named Patton. We know he's an important cog in the organization, but not the leader. We've tried everything to make him talk, but no results. Where is this Patton? In the Tonto jail. Comes up for trial day after tomorrow. I'm sorry I couldn't do more for you. So are we. Thank you, Captain. All right. It's not likely to give up so quick, amigo. You got something up your sleeves? What are you thinking about? Andy and Susie. That's why we're heading for Tonto. But why Tonto? You heard what Captain McLean said. Patton's going on trial. He may spill something to save his neck. If he does, I want to be there when he talks. But, Brad, why don't you leave that to the captain? That, that's his business, We're too. making it our business. We'll be in Tonto right after Andy's funeral. Tonto means in Spanish? No. It means fool. And I bet you that's what we are. Uh, keep your shirt on. I always keep that on, except on Saturday nights when I take a bath. Well, this is only Thursday, and I don't want to attract too much attention yet. Hey, look down there. Ride down there and see what that's all about. Sober and Patton, he tell nothing. So I got to hang him. Hang him? See, si, when Philly is dead. When? Tomorrow morning. So we had this long ride all for nothing. Come on, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. There may still be a chance. I don't like the way you say that. Look, you've got to get me in that jail. In the jail? Always I hear about people trying to get out of jail. This is the first time I ever hear about someone trying to get in one. One of us is loco. Maybe both of us. Where do you think you're going? I'm an Arizona Ranger. I just ride in from Wicksburg. Is that so? Who's your captain down there? Captain McLean. Let him through, Henry. I used to work for Captain McLean. All right, Ranger. Gracias. Are you the Sheriff of Tonto? Yep. Who are you? I am Ranger Rafferty. Rafferty? Where'd you get to Rafferty? My father, he was Irish. How do I know you're a ranger? Well, just talk to Joe out there. He and me used to work with Captain McLean down in Wicksburg. All right, I'll check with Joe. Say, that's a beautiful knot. Not everybody can tie the hangsman knot. It's very hard to do. It's muy bueno. Yep, nine turns and a slip noose. You see, it has to slide like this. Well, that is magnifico. I'm very particular about this hanging. Come here. Roy Patton. Oh, see, I hear about him. Yeah, I've done nothing but worry about him. But if I can just hold on to him till tomorrow morning, my troubles will be over. He has a nice neck for it. Is that why you got all the deputies outside with the guns? Yep. Just in case the Tonto Rim gang decides to bail Patton out. Now get a hot reception if they show up here. Now, what can I do for you, Ranger? <sighs> Night and day, I follow a man here whose tracks lead here. He is maybe right in your own town. His name is Canfield, Brad Canfield. What does he look like? Oh, he's about six foot high, black striped trousers, gray shirt, dark hat, not too big, and a blue bandana around the neck. He ties his guns down, but the left gun butt is to the... Oh, a cross-draw pistol man, huh? See, si, he's a very bad hombre. He killed one man in Tucson, two in Phoenix, three in Prescott. He killed too many, I think. 
Well, if he ever shows up here, he'll never leave here alive. I swear. Alive? Oh, it is very important that we catch him alive. Why? When he robbed the train in Jackson, he got away with $10,000. And we want to get the money back for the railroad. Remember, alive. I'll be mighty careful, Rafferty. If I ever run across this Canfield, I'll ask him real nice to hand over his shooting irons and come with me. Now, that is nice. You are too much obliged. I think I look over your thumb for him while I am here. Adios. Don't forget, alive. Hello, Joe. Say, I was going to ask Goodbye, you. Goodbye, Joe. How'd it go? He swallowed hook, line, and stinker. That's fine. Did I make a big bad bandit out of you? You know how many men you kill? You kill more men than Billy the Kids. You didn't overdo it, did you? No, I was just acting like myself. I lie like everything. Well, you know what to do next. See, but I still think one of us is loco. Hey, Ranger. Oh, hello, kid Joe. Say, I wanted to ask you about Kathy McLean's kid. Oh, his nice little boys. Boys? Uh, little girls. Little? Big? Big enough so I name him to marry one of them. Oh, you are a lucky boy, Joe. If I was thinking of marrying one of them for myself, I'd give her up for you. i see you again, Joe. I'll see what goes on over there. Your name is Canfield? That's right. What's it to you? I'm an Arizona Ranger. You're under arrest. No! to make it look good. Okay, how do you like this? Who is he? Said his name was Canfield. Canfield, huh? Well, I'll say one thing. You rangers sure get your man. Oh, worse than this happened two or three times a week. I remember one time in weeks. Oh. Oh, still alive, huh? You keep him locked up for me. I take him to Wicksburg first thing in the morning. Come on. All right, get along. You can put those guns in the rack if you want to. I take care of them. I pack them on my roll. That'll save me the time in the morning. Keep him covered, Ranger. Si, senor. Get in there, Canfield. What time do you want to pick up your prisoner tomorrow? I get him out very early. It's too bad you're not going to be here for the hanging. It's going to be quite a shindig. Women and everything. Chito Rafferty is a ranger. And a ranger thinks of his duty first, and women afterwards. Come on, I want to talk to you. You're Brad Canfield, huh? Where'd I ever meet up with you? I heard him talking about you. The Mexican, that dumb sheriff. Canfield, you know what time it is? Why? You're not going anyplace. 
You mean you ain't? Even if you have got ten thousand dollars cashed away. Ten thousand dollars? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play fox with me, Canfield. I heard what that Mexican said about the train robbery money. Oh. <laughs> that ten thousand. That's why they didn't plug you. They want to know where you hit it. They're gonna sweat it out of you. They're taking on an awful chore if they find that money. Don't you know what time it is? Uh-uh. Must be almost 11 o'clock. See, what happens at 11 around here anyway? Maybe nothing. Maybe plenty. What are you so jumpy about, Patton? How would you feel if you was in my boots? I don't know. I'm not worried. They can't keep me in here. I've skinned out of tighter corners than this. If you was only as smart as you talk. I got a pal. On the outside. He's never let me down yet. He'll get me out. Listen. It's 11 o'clock. Listen hard. Do you hear something else? No. That's it. That's them. They come for me. They're gonna get me out. Don't get me out. Scoop for 20 outlaws. Come on, let's see how many I kill. Looks like the fight's over. Too bad for you, Patton. Well, anyway, they tried. Yeah. They tried the hard way. What are you driving at, Canfield? Where'd they come from? My pal on the outside. That fight was just made to order for him to slip those pistols through to me. Let me have one. Not much, Patton. How are you gonna work it? Oh, when the sheriff brings us our lunch, I'll make the break then. Here's a good meal for you, Patton. You probably won't enjoy your dinner so much, considering. Come and get it. Don't move, Sheriff, or you'll get it. Now put that tray in your right hand and open the cell door with the other one. Don't you drop that tray. All right, now put both hands on the tray. Get him up there. Get in. Hurry up. So long, boys. Hey, Casco, what about me? Hey, 
travels fast is who travels alone. Oh, Canfield, you leave me here, I'll hang. I can't help that. I got a neck, too. Oh, give me a break, Canfield, please. Please! Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this. All right, come on. Find some horses in the side alley. Get me out of here, quick! Come on, hurry up, hurry up! Jailbreak! Jailbreak! with you. Is Chief here? No. Nope. Lucy, come out here. How'd he get shot? Getting me out of jail. Oh, Lucy. Take care of his arm. I'll get him out of here later. What are you gonna do with him? Take him up above. Oh, uh, unlock the bunkhouse door, will you? I need some guns. I can't. I gotta watch her. Come on, come on. Keep an eye on it from out there. You're the driver of the Rimrock stage. That's right. What are you doing here with Patton? I might ask you the same question. I can't tell you. Then I guess you'll get the same answer from me. I'll fix your arm. Wait here. Juanita, get me some hot water. That will be all, Juanita. She's as noisy as a shadow. Well, she's half Apache. Must be uncomfortable living around here with her. Here, turn around with the light so I can see better. What's your name? 
You heard. Lucy. I mean your last name. What's your connection with the gang? Are they keeping you here against your will? Maybe they didn't kidnap you. Maybe you were planted on that stage for a reason. Who's the leader of the Tonto Rim Gang and where is he? Answer me. Be careful. Who is he? Remember, all I have to do is call those men and tell them who you are. Why don't you? Because I don't want to see you killed. Isn't that enough? No, it isn't. I... Are you through? Yes. Why did you help Patton out of jail? I had a reason. He deserved to hang. I know, but I hoped he'd lead me to the Tonto Rim Gang. You see, they killed my best friend. Now they'll get you, too. Perhaps not. You'd only tell me what you know about this leader and where I can find him. Don't go up above with Patton. Take my warning. Escape now while you can. Even if you have to kill him to do it. I'm using Patton. He's not using me. What'll happen if he finds out? They're coming back. I'll be back, Lucy. Please don't come back ever. It's the worst thing you could do. It'll only make trouble for me. But, Lucy, you don't understand. I've simply got... You ready, Canfield? Already. Thanks for what you did for me, and good day. Goodbye. Hey, Patton. Who is the chief? What's he have to do with that girl in there? Well, he's a... Wait a minute, Canfield. You want to know too much too soon? Don't trust me, you don't have to take me up above. I can go on back, you know. <laughs> you think so? Come on, let's go up above. How much further is this hideout? Oh, not very much. You're in Tonto Rim country now. Entrance is right over there. All I can see is a bunch of rocks. <laughs> That's why no one's ever been able to find it. Figured you for a dead duck, Roy. Including me. Is the chief up above? No, they all went to. Never mind. Come on, Campfield. men could hold this against an army. Is there any other way out? None I ever heard of. Hi. Hi, Roy. How are you, fellas? Oh, Roy. Hi. How are you, Steve? Hello, Roy. How'd you get out? Yeah, I'll tell you about it later. I want you to meet a friend of mine. His name is Canfield. Howdy, Steve. Find him a place to bunk. Come on. Well, here you are, Canfield. All the comforts of home. Any additional privileges? Ain't that good enough? Never mind, it'll do. Look, 
Why don't you do something? I want you to get word to the boss, tell him I'm out, tell him I'm up here waiting for him, see? All right. Get away from that horse and get back to your lean-to. What's the idea? Get over there so I can watch you. Patton told me to keep an eye on you. Oh, he did, did he? Yes, he did, did he? Well, we'll see about that. Hey, Patton. Yeah? What's the idea of having me watched? Watched? Yeah. Steve just told me. Maybe you're getting a mite too nosy, huh? Look, Patton, I think I'd like to get out of this place. Oh, ain't that just too bad? We like you so much, we just can't bear to see you go. Don't you mean you won't let me go? Oh, you're catching on. After all, Ken, Phil, I've only known you a few hours. We can't let just anybody come and go up here just the way they please. Even I gotta watch my steps, so what's eating you? Yeah. Just what's on your chest, Canfield. Where is it you want to go? I've got a friend in Tonto, remember? You ought to, because you owe him something, too. He happens to be the guy that got us out of jail. All right, all right. Now, take it easy. Take it easy. You got a bad arm. Why don't you give it a chance? When the chief comes back, he might have something interesting to talk to you about. I'll put in a good word for you. Just when will this chief be back? Ooh, maybe three hours. Maybe three days. That long? Maybe three weeks. Accessory to crime, aiding a criminal to escape, supplying a criminal with lethal weapons, collusion, conspiracy, fraud, impersonation of an officer of the law, etc., etc. I'm not guilty. Not guilty, he says. I did not do the etc., etc. I ought to have my head examined for believing the cock and bull story he and his friend handed me. I gave you credit for having better sense. That's right. Rub it in. I deserve it. But my amigo is really Brad Canfield. And Canfield is a killer. How do you know? You told me so. But I am such a liar. If I am all the things you say I do, how can you believe me? Captain, how long am I going to have to stay in this jail? What makes you think you'll ever get out? Oh, you'll have to stay here until I check further on Canfield. But he is my amigo. I'm afraid something has happened to him or he would have come back here to get me out. If he ever comes back here, I'll eat my hat. You can eat mine, too. Mark my words. Now that Patton is free, there are going to be more raids. That I can believe. I wish I knew where they'll strike next. What are we going to do about it? Well, we can begin by hanging that Mexican twice. <laughs> I want to give Canfield the benefit of the doubt. He may show up. You want to bet? Well, if he does, give him a break. I'll investigate further. The thing to do now is to find out if this Canfield really owns the Rimrock stage line. I'll wire you what I find out, and you telegraph me whatever develops here. All right. Bye. Goodbye. Twice, he says. <laughs> told us about your getaway. Yeah. yeah. Chief wants to see you down there right away. Right. See.
Hey, Patton. Yeah. I'm having some trouble with this arm. Well, is that my fault? Whose fault is it? Why don't you take care of it? I've dressed it every day. It still keeps bleeding. It's hot and swollen. Now, what do you want me to do? Act a little human. After all, it's saving your neck that got me this. Get me down to a doctor or something. Later on, later on. Right now. A thing like this can cause plenty of trouble. Maybe I will take you down below. I think the chief ought to meet you. It's about time. Tell him that, huh? I will. Come on, we'll saddle up. Are you making plans to ride again? Yeah. Soon? Very soon. So you've lied to me again. I suppose while I'm gone, you'll try to run away again. I'll run away every chance I get. Away from you and this kind of life. And someday you won't be able to bring me back. Why don't you let her run away and then we... You, uh, may clear away the things. Hey, Patton's coming. with him. That fellow I told you about, Canfield. Well, Canfield is the chief. Why'd you bring him here, Patton? You know my orders. Because of his arm. So your name's Canfield, huh? That's right. Why are you staring at me? Staring? What would you call it? I always take a good look at any man I meet for the first time. Why? Habit, I guess. I found it pays to be suspicious in my business. Your business? Sit down, Canfield. I'd like to have a talk with you. You and Patton seem to have had an exciting experience. Who told you? Hooker and others. What was your motive in helping Patton? My motive? You must have had a reason. The only reason I had to get Patton out of jail was because he begged. Is that true? Sure I'd beg. With a rope around your neck, wouldn't you beg? The idea of all this questioning. I have to be careful in my business, too. So, uh, you'd like to join us, huh? How fast are you with your guns? Don't move. You heard me. Put them down. It's all right, Juanita. Put your guns away. You're fast enough. Too fast. You fellas asked for it. Sorry, this arm sort of slows me up a little. Lucy, come in here and fix Canfield's arm. You're all right. I like you. Can use you. I'd like to have you join us. I've never been tied in with a gang before. Well, uh, I'll give you a little time to think it over. Come, you two. I uh, got something important to talk to you about. You meant to use those guns. That's right. Then you found the man who killed your friend. Yes. What's he to you? My brother. That explains a lot of things, then. Why you wouldn't talk. I couldn't betray him. You had to find out for yourself. But, Lucy, what'll happen to you when they finally catch up with him? When that day comes, I'll be free. Well, Canfield, have you made up your mind? I've decided to join you. Perhaps Lucy had something to do with your decision? You'll uh, ride with us on our next raid. When will that be? I'll tell you later in the day when I come up on the rim. Till this afternoon, then.
Wait a minute, Patton. What's up? I'm going to town. Yeah, to town? What's the matter with you? That sheriff's posse's loaded for bear. I got a pal in there, and I got to see him. Oh. Oh, I get it. Your pal knows where you hid that train robbery money, and you don't trust him. How'd you guess? Because for that much money, I'd take a chance myself. <laughs> Be careful. I'll see you later on the rim. Rafferty, what size collar do you wear? I don't want to remember. What difference about the collar when I wear wings? Stick your neck out here a minute. Oh, no, I stick my neck out once too many and I get in here. That is bad enough. Well, I guess I'll just have to make this a medium then. It'll slip down to size when the trap is sprung. Back in this jail. I'm holding you responsible. Sheriff, remember what the captain said. He said if Brett come back to give him an even break. Is Captain McLean in town? No. But he wired me to say you really do own the stage line. All right, then. Let Cheeto out. I ought to slap you in there instead. Fine trick you played on me. It's gonna pay off, Sheriff. You'll get Patton back and the real leader of the game. His name's Dennison. Dennison? That's right. Now, have you got a map of the Tonto Rim country? Yeah. Now look, right here is to the end of that mountain, take up. Right in here is where the canyon starts. You have to come in this way. It's a hole in the wall, just large enough to let one horse and rider through at a time. You follow it clear on up to the end, and that's where you'll find Dennis and his gang, right under the Tonto Rim. What's the best time to attack? Late this afternoon. You'll get them all then because Dennis will be there. I'll be on the inside. Now when you hear shooting in this canyon, that's your signal to come on in. I'll wire Captain McLean to bring his rangers. And we haven't got time for that. Well, we'll have to pick up a posse. You two are deputized. Here's your badges. Good. You want to have all the fun alone. Last time you leave me before behind. I mean I left you behind before, don't you? Well, you know what I mean. Cheeto, I need somebody I can depend upon. Somebody who can get the posse at the right place at the right time. Come on. My brother knows everything. Who you are, why you came here. How did he find out? Juanita. She trailed you into town. Go quickly. As soon as I miss, they'll be after me. I'm going to take you with me, then. We never get there. Look, you took a chance to warn me. I'm not going to leave you here. Come on. All right, hold it. Turn around get going. Go on! What's my sister been telling you about me? Now when you talk. Finish tying him. Pack what you'll need. What are you going to do with him? You leave him to me. Now get your things together. I need a helper. I'm going for the men. We're going to make one last raid before we leave this country. While the sheriff and posse are up on the rim looking for us, we'll be busy in the town of Tonto. I'll never get away with it, Dennison. Someday you'll be caught. Yeah, well, if I am, you won't be around to enjoy it. After we're gone, take care of him. I'll get my horse. Lucy! She will do nothing. 
nothing. All right, you stay here and pack her things. Then you and Hooker meet us at Sentinel Rocks. Come on. Back up, men. Take only what you'll need. We're clearing out. Well, what's the matter? The matter is you. Me? What did I do? You bungled everything. Why'd you let Canfield ride into Tonto? Ah, how could I stop him? You passed on him, didn't you? You said he was okay. Yeah, but he fooled me, too. But he's paid for it. But what did Canfield do? He was hand in glove with the sheriff of Tonto. We even found a deputy's badge on him. He got you out of jail for only one purpose, so that you'd lead him to this place. And you did. Hurry the men up. Get them out of here. You about me? Yeah, he said to pass you. She's come up yet? Yeah, up above. Good. If gets here, they'll find an empty nest.
right here. That's Canfield. Take a man now. Walk behind the rocks and get him from behind. Hey. Sorry it had to happen this way. Don't feel badly. I don't any longer. It had to happen sometime anyway. Well, when Cheeto and I get our stage line again, I'll be back. I'll be here. 